what if if we sort of back up a little bit and just sort of look back on this last year in 2023 mm -hmm. and where we're headed in 2024 what are the biggest trends for ERP systems in 2023? Like what are the biggest developments in the space that we should all be aware of? Yeah, um, well, I think that the biggest thing is the continuing trend towards uh, cloud and subscription-based software, right? Uh, it gets harder and harder every year to talk somebody into selling an on-premise system. Um, and that's something that I think is, is only gonna continue. Um, it's it's a, a massive revenue driver for, for vendors in general. So I think that's something that um, it wouldn't be a, an only 2023 trend, but um, it is a, a continuing trend, I would say. And we've also started to see vendors talk a lot more about AI, which I think is an important thing to, to, to touch base on, um, especially as it pertains to the way that we approach software evaluations, which is uh, we don't recommend being the guinea pig. <laughs> right, right. And right now, um, you know, AI is is developing. It's a developing technology. It does a lot of great things. That's true. Um, but I, ERP is something that, from a developing a new technology perspective, tends to be a lagging um, adopter, if you will. So if you think about um, the subscription trend, for example, that's just now really, um, I'd say over the last year or two, reached a critical mass in ERP. Um, I think AI is going to do something very similar in that it's just going to continue to need to develop before it becomes something that you can trust. Uh, the way I like to think about it is um, if you're putting your business's lifeline um, up to chance because uh, you want something new to work, it, if you've never seen it work, and I promise you software vendors right now have never seen it really truly work the way you think it should, um, take it with a grain of salt. You know they're gonna um, they're gonna spend some time developing it. That's important. But at the same time, realize where it's at. You know, if it's on the future roadmap, that means it doesn't exist yet. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. when you go into vendor yeah. conferences this year, it's amazing how much the focus has really shifted to AI. I mean, they were already already talking about it. They're talking about machine mm -hmm. learning and AI and stuff like that pre twenty twenty three. But if you think about it, ChatGPT really just bust onto the scene late last year slash early this year. In a very short amount of time, it's suddenly become the number one trend that the industry seems to be obsessed with, which is just AI and how are we going to build AI into our into mm -hmm. our tool set and how are we going to fast track that? So it's, it's been pretty interesting to watch. When How do you differentiate between things like predictive analytics and AI? Are they different? You know, right. maybe. Right. <laughs> um, you know, that I like to think that maybe even things like MRP, uh, that these things have been around for a long time. We've been using data to make decisions. The only difference is uh, in AI, in my opinion, is you're asking it to be a little bit smarter. Um, and as data becomes more mature in an organization, your system can be a little bit smarter. And that's, that's really uh, what you want to look for.